it's Jessie V and today we're talking about Build-A-Bears. I know. It probably seems like a super random subject, but you guys know I'm on this nostalgia thing recently. I have a whole new series about it. So I want to cover really important parts of our lives like toys, movies, just things we had growing up as kids. Because there are so many facts that you may not have known about things like Build-A-Bears. And I gotta be honest with you, I had a Build-A-Bear that I was very close with growing up, okay? Oh, there's a spider on my wall. Oh my goodness. Okay. I mean, he's fine there. Like, he's not near me, so if you're gonna go eat the mosquitoes and the flies, you're good there. Just stay there, though. We don't kill spiders in this house. As long as he doesn't mate with another spider in this room or in this house, we should be fine. See, you'll be good, okay? No temptations. So yeah, as I was saying, I did have a Build-A-Bear that I absolutely adored. I don't know if this bear is still around, but it was this white fluffy fur bear that had this cute little blue nose and I called her Blueberry. I know, super creative, the blue nose, blueberries. And then my sister Mandy also had a bear. I'm saying quotations because her Build-A-Bear was actually a cat and it had this like pink heart on its chest and pink ears. I don't know if they still sell these ones or not, but those two bears were the ones that we had growing up as children. I remember every time I went to the mall, I really wanted to go into the store to get her new outfits because they always had these cute little like skirts and little boots and stuff. Oh my gosh. Definitely comment down below if you ever had one. I know I saw a few comments on Twitter saying, oh my gosh, Jesse, I had 11. I had 11 Build-A-Bears. Well, you know what? I wasn't as lucky as you. Build-A-Bears were expensive back then. So we're gonna get into some pretty disturbing facts about Build-A-Bears, because once again, I'm just like ruining childhoods. <laughs> but before I get started, another reminder. This coming Thursday is the Running with Violet premiere. It's literally here in just a few days. If you haven't gotten your ticket yet and you're from Ontario, Canada, and you can go, the ticket link is down below in the description. There's a red carpet, you can meet me, you can sit in a theater with me. Everybody who gets a ticket to this show is automatically entered into a contest and the contest winner will be announced on Wednesday and if you win you get to sit in the cast row with me while we watch. And like I said before if you live far away or if you can't get a ticket if you would also like to be in another contest we're doing a fan art contest right now so draw any of your favorite character from Running with Violet, draw any of your favorite scene and submit it on Instagram or Twitter and tag me and Running with Violet and we'll be announcing that winner in about a week and the prize is going to be a large pack of Running With Violet merch and Jesse V merch. So there's two contests. Get your tickets down below, guys. Also, on another note, I have a mermaid pack on my merch website. So it has all of my merch that is related to mermaids all in one pack. That link is down below in the description as well. Okay, so Build-A-Bears. Let's start off with the most extreme theory that I don't personally believe, but a lot of people on the internet do. It is that the hearts, the little hearts you put in to your Build-A-Bear are actually tracking devices and listening devices. So it's like a whole government scheme because as you know, most kids have a Build-A-Bear and if you put those hearts inside of it, well, there you go. You're automatically tracked. Plus, when you go in and you make a bear, you have to go into their data registry thing. So everybody who has a bear, they have your phone number, they have your full name, they have your address, they have everything about you in their big database. I love how it says, if you are going to try to take over the world, Build-A-Bear has the way to do it. <laughs> so I think that's sort of a very extreme theory that I don't really believe. So we're gonna get into some other facts that are kind of upsetting and somewhat creepy and somewhat disturbing. Get ready. So there was this one time that Build-A-Bear had a huge promotion that they had never done before and it was called Pay Your Age Day. So basically if you go into the store on this day, the only amount you have to pay for the bear is how old you are. So if you're two years old, the bear is $2. If you're 13 years old, the bear is $13, etc. And because bears typically cost, I believe, anywhere between $20 to $60, depending on which bear and depending on what accessories you're getting, this was like a really amazing deal because most people who get a Build-A-Bear, they're under 20 years old. So people were freaking out about this huge promotion. And I don't think Build-A-Bear was prepared for it because the day of the promotion, there were lines all through the malls everywhere. And it was a seven hour wait line. So the entire mall was packed with people, parents with their kids, waiting to go to this
this Pay Your Rage event, people were getting trampled, there were security issues, the store was basically being mobbed with people. So only a couple hours into the event, they had to completely shut it down and people all over the world drove like hours and hours to get to these stores to pay their age and build a totally shut down the promotion. People were furious. It was all over the news because some kids got to get their Build-A-Bears and other kids didn't. Oh my goodness, it was a mess. But I mean, who makes a promotion like that? Obviously, it's not gonna go well. I mean, what if like a one-year-old comes in? A Build-A-Bears one dollar? The next thing we're gonna talk about is another Build-A-Bear event gone wrong and this part makes me absolutely furious. So there was this mother who hosted a Build-A-Bear birthday birthday party for her daughter. Now for this birthday party, this mother got a whole bunch of these kids, like a huge group, like 10 kids, to go into the Build-A-Bear store, buy themselves a bear, get it stuffed, get it all decorated and dressed. And so all these kids were so excited, so happy, they're celebrating this birthday. But on their way out of the Build-A-Bear store, this mother of the birthday girl stopped all the kids and she was like, okay, everybody hand over your bears to my daughter because it's her birthday. And all the kids were like, what do you mean? Like, no, these are our bears. We just made them. We just paid for them. And the mother was like, no, it's my daughter's birthday. So all of you guys are going to give her your bears that you made as a birthday gift. And these kids started crying. And this mother was literally grabbing the bears out of these kids' arms, like just taking it right from them. It was a whole commotion. The news got involved. It was like the whole world knew about this birthday party gone wrong for Build-A-Bear. I mean, the parents of these kids were so mad. Who does that? I mean, I get that your kid is the birthday girl, but like, do you not want her to have friends anymore? Because do you really think she's gonna go to school the next day and all these kids that she stole their bears from are gonna be happy to like hang out with her? I just don't get it, guys. This next fact is kind of creepy and it was a Build-A-Bear that was actually recalled. So it was pulled off the market because bad things were happening with it. This bear was called the Colorful Hearts Teddy Bear. Hopefully none of you guys have this out there. Please let me know. But basically these kids were taking this particular teddy bear home with them and the eyes would pop out. Like the eyes weren't sewn in correctly so they would be like snuggling with it or playing with it and the eyes would just be like Pfft. It was scaring kids because no one wants to see their beloved teddy bear with their eyes falling out and also it was a choking hazard for the kids that were really young who had this bear because they see an eye pop out and they're like oh that must be candy. So it was a hazard to children and they had to recall this and the thing is 300,000 people had already purchased it and taken it home. So 300,000 people had to bring it back into the store for this recall. I mean, that's insane. Why are these teddy bears eyes popping out? The next thing we're gonna talk about is the secrets that Build-A-Bear employees won't tell you. I'm pretty sure I found this in an article online from somebody who used to work at Build-A-Bear and they put like all these facts down. So we're gonna go over a few of them. The first one is that all of the staff in Build-A-Bear call the empty bears skins. So you know before you stuff your bear, you get the bear like all flat and empty? Well, all the staff calls those skins. The skins of the Build-A-Bears. <laughs> That's like so scary. Why can't they just call them unstuffed bears? The next creepy thing is that the sound machine in the store will just go off randomly even when no kid is pressing a button. So staff will like walk by it, it'll suddenly turn on and like make them jump. So staff were always just anxious waiting to know when the sound machine would suddenly start. <laughs> that would just give me major like panic while I was working there. The next fact that I had no idea is that if your kid is having a Build-A-Bear birthday party, you can pay to have one of the staff from the store dress up as a giant Build-A-Bear and then go to your kid's party. I had no idea that was a thing and honestly that's kind of like kind of creepy. I literally cannot stand looking at that spider anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna get Ty. Ty, there's a spider. I was trying to be nice and just leave him there, but he's really crawling everywhere. He's getting a glass because we don't kill spiders. We just like scoop them into a glass and throw them outside, so. His studio days are over. His time in the spotlight is done. Oh, it's a jumping spider. Ah! All right, sorry about that. <laughs> the next fact is that those boxes that you take your Build-A-Bear home in was actually inspired by Happy Meals. So the owner of Build-A-Bear was like, oh my gosh, I love how kids get like cool little packages for Happy Meals. I want the same thing for Build-A-Bear. So they made the boxes like colorable. They made them full of different like images and stuff. So that's why the boxes are so cute because McDonald's. The next fact is super creepy. It was about a commercial that came out for Build-A-Bear 
scare that scared kids all around the world. And like parents were complaining so much about this commercial, they actually had to like get rid of it. It was basically this video on global warming, which I mean, to talk about global warming, I think that's awesome, but it was like the way they went about it. It was basically this series that came out in 2009 that showed a Santa Claus freaking out about global warming. Like he even says the North Pole will be gone by Christmas. Basically saying, bye kids, no more Santa Claus if we keep having global warming. So kids were like crying, they were freaking out about Christmas basically being canceled. And so the company got really criticized by parents everywhere saying, oh my gosh, stop scaring my kid. So they agreed to remove the videos. And like I said, talking about global warming I think is very important. But I think when you're talking to kids, there's like a different way to go about it rather than saying, hey, Santa Claus is gonna die. This next fact is so cute, oh my gosh. So there was this baby monkey in an England zoo and its mother was unfortunately too ill to care for it. So the mother had to go away to get like medical care. So Build-A-Bear stuffed this monkey and put a heart into the bear that actually like moved to simulate like a real monkey. And so this baby monkey would curl up to this Build-A-Bear monkey for days and days until it got older. And that was how like it grew up healthy. So that's kind of cute. And the last fact I feel like a lot of you guys might know about because I have seen this circling social media and I do find it to be kind of a touching thing to do. So basically tons of people around the world, thousands of people in fact, have been putting the voices of their relatives that have passed away into a Build-A-Bear because you can put like a recording of a voice or a song into a bear and it just like stays in your bear forever. And I think that's like a really sweet thing to do. The only sad thing is what if it runs out of batteries one day? I mean, I think the Build-A-Bear policy says that if your thing runs out, you can go back and like get it fixed. I'm not too sure about that though. But some people like speak out and say that's kind of weird. But honestly, like if that's what you want to do, like you do you. I think it's kind of touching. Anyway, so guys, those are all of the Build-A-Bear facts that I'm telling you today. If you have any others that I missed, definitely comment it down below. Is that another spider? Are you kidding me? Anyways, don't forget the Running With Violet ticket link is down below in the description. I really hope I can see you guys on Thursday and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!